Hey, in this video I'll show you one of the new features we've added to make it really simple for you to manage iFlows if you want to replicate the same iFlow and run it with multiple configurations. So here I have an, an iFlow. It is a really simple iFlow that doesn't do much. Um, but the idea is that we do have a lot of configurations on it and we want to be able to, to replicate this iFlow for multiple configuration. So if we look at the external parameters, there's to a company code and a host name. And if we, for instance, want to deploy this for three different company codes, how would this look like? So here we have the iFlow in the Gafia T tool where we have synchronized data and have all information about it. We will then create a shared, uh, create a distribution configuration that will then take all the information from the iFlow and replicate it to multiple iFlow. We will then create let's just do three iFlows and we will create one for D This is very well spelled. Good. So now we have one for each country, and we can then into the con we can define whether or not we want to synchronize it from the host or from other ones. So we will here create one for Germany. That's one, two, and three for SE. And now we can save this configuration. And we'll then get information that these are not does not exist on this tenant in this iFlow. What we simply do is just click upload iFlow. This will then handle the creation of these iFlows with the relevant configurations. See that they have all been created successfully by which user and what has happened here. So if we go back to a package, we can then see we got iFlow 3. Refresh it. And now in our package, we have three iFlows, one for each of the different countries. And if we then look at the configuration for this, we can see it is specified for that specific configuration. This is obviously okay, but what happens when you change the iFlow? So up here we have our original iFlow. Let's just not do much. Just make a small uh, modification in the, uh, so it's just called company code three. Not really sure that makes any sense. Save it as a version, that's actually all we need to do. We can obviously deploy it, but for now it's not really looking at deployment uh, statuses. So what we'll need to go is we'll go back to our change tracking tool here. And this is the one that is continuously monitoring all the changes that are happening in the landscape. And then in here, we'll be able to see that there has come a new version of our specific iFlow. And if we open this distribution configuration again, we can now see actually these landscape, they exist, but they are not up to date. So we all we need to do is just simply click the update. It will then update this uh, iFlow and make sure that we can run it. And obviously this works also if you deploy it to other systems in your landscape, you can make sure that they're updating and managing these different things. I hope you like this, uh, this feature and can see how it will make your life easier as an integration developer, being able to configure all these iFlows and make be sure to know they're actually updated and successful. So go to figaf.com forward slash devops and try it out.